Good day, folks. Pagosa Red here. Today, I am going to be making rugala, Pagosa Red style. I've never made it this way before. I've actually never made it before. I love rugala, but it's expensive. So I thought, well, maybe I can make my own version. So we're going to do rugala, Pagosa Red style today. So uh, just follow along with me. We're going to be using puff pastry uh, dough for the main part of the pastry part. And then the fillings and stuff, I'll be videotaping as I put it together. So uh, tag along and let's see what the outcome is. Okay, we're going to be working with puff pastry. Um, this pastry, you can let it sit out till it's just kind of workable. It doesn't take too long. Or you can put it in the microwave microwave it for about 15 seconds on each side do it 15 and then flip it to another side for 15 and then um, it should be workable you don't you don't want it too soft because then it'll stick and it's not easy to work with when it does that so anyway i'm just going to roll it out a little bit here make it a little longer so i can get a few more pieces out of it that's not going to work very good doesn't seem like it wants to even up a little so all right so there we are next thing we're going to do is we're going to butter it got some soft Kerrygold butter here that's my favorite this Kerrygold butter let me get a spatula this is not working well That's better. Anyway, we're just gonna butter it nice and heavy. Not overly crazy, but you know, where all the areas are covered with some butter. All right, once that's done, just gonna drizzle it with some honey. Like I say, I've never done this before. This is all new to me, but I think that there's going to be some good flavors here. Don't want to go too crazy because we don't want to make a real big sticky mess. Then you're going to want to take some cinnamon, cover it with some cinnamon, nice and good. Probably should have put the cinnamon on before I put the honey, but I don't think it really matters. Then we're going to take, we got some dried currants. I love dried currants. I use them for a lot of different things, but I really like them in my oatmeal is what I like them. That's the way I usually eat them. So we're just going to cover it nice and good with some currants. Okay. Then we got some crushed walnuts here. chopped I guess I just chopped them fairly fine not did not like dust but still chunky a little bit all right now let's see if we can make this happen I'm gonna take this sometimes this sticks you might need to run a knife under it to get it loose we're just gonna go like that we're just gonna start rolling it up Okay, so there we have that. Now 
Now we're going to take a knife. You probably need a serrated knife to make it cut properly. I don't know if a regular knife would do it or not. I'm going to go about three quarters of an inch, I think is what we'll do. And we'll just set these over here on the cookie sheet. Let's try to keep them a little bit rounded, I guess. We don't need, shouldn't need too much room. Okay, we're going to put just a pinch of salt on them. You don't have to, but I find that it just makes it a little bit better with the puff pastry that I've been working with. I kind of find it needs just a little bit of salt to give it a little more flavor. So, okay, we're just going to beat up some egg. We're going to do an egg wash. Don't have to put a whole lot on there, but just kind of Dab the tops with a little bit of egg. Okay, you want to make sure that you get a little bit of egg wash on the sides <clears throat> of them as well. Just a little bit. I've already done all of these. So we're going to pop them in the oven and we're going to soon see what they come out looking like. The oven is set at 425 degrees and we're going to bake them for 10 minutes. Okay, <clears throat> these should be good enough, warm, cool enough to to try, so let's give one a taste. That's not actually too bad. I've got probably a little over a dozen or so here. They cost about a dollar and a quarter at the Pagosa Baking Company. So, you know, twelve, fifteen dollars worth here few minutes to make and you made them yourself so anyway thanks for tagging along and have a great day okay in retroflex i would probably use brown sugar instead of honey i do the butter the brown sugar then i would do the currants and the walnuts i'd also probably drop the heat from 425 to 350 degrees maybe cook them 20 to 30 minutes just keeping an eye on them um, the outside seems to be done a little quicker than what the inside is. So that's some of a couple of things that I would do. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Have a great day. If you like these videos, be sure and subscribe. Thanks.